Welcome back. We close things out by shining a spotlight on the black renegades making a difference to the culture as we roll out our revolutionary of the week. Including two real estate wizards who are taking the each one teach one approach to help black communities close the wealth gap when it comes to home and property ownership. Meet the duo of Oasis. We grew up together. Been business partners about 15 years. He runs a successful security, transportation business that I partner with them, but he runs it. I have a production company, but at a certain point, we wanted to get into real estate. I grew up predominantly in LA. Had a lot of family in Chicago, but never had looked into the real estate. At that time, the MLS, looking at the different opportunities and seeing properties for 20,000, 30,000, it really blew me away. Cause, but in LA, you know, a home, average home is 300, 400,000 at that time. Now you're talking five, six, 700,000. So I was impressed by the opportunity to come in at such a low price point. And then things just started clicking as the journey began. So bought that property, came in, renovated it uh, for around 70 some thousand and it ended up being worth 210,000. Mm -hmm. So right off the back, you know, saw the equity. And then what really kind of sealed the deal for us wanting to continue that process was when we decided to start leasing the property to tenants and seeing these black families with all these black children, um, you know, in tears because they're not accustomed to one, having a, a landlord that looked like them, that cares about what they dealt with, that may have had similar experiences growing up, but two, um, that's giving them a really beautiful home to live in. You know, when you look at the larger uh, rental companies that exist in the south side of Chicago, which is a very dominant renter's market, um, most of them don't come from our communities. They're not even from our country. They're in China, mm -hmm. they're in Poland, they're in mm -hmm. these other places that know that there's great investment opportunity there. So that, that first piece, um, it, it became a, 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 an obsession, an addiction, you know what I mean? It was like, you know, ended up where we had now to where we have uh, over 60 units um, in the Chicago area, 60 plus units, and another 20 plus in development. Uh, the build program kind of came about organically because as we began to scale the business and have more units, we needed more people. Um, so we had partnered uh, with Genesis Construction um, Trade School, who is a black owned trade school and black owned construction company. And so he already had the system in place to certify um, young men. So we were like, hey, why don't we look at taking some of the young men from the community, housing them somewhere that we live so we can change the environment. So it's a beautiful program that's designed to take young men um, out of impoverished uh, situations, out of you know economically deprived situations, and give them tangible skill sets that they can apply in real life while they're simultaneously learning the business aspects. So the first group of graduates, uh, we showed them how to start their own LLC that they 100% own. Um, they each have their equal percentage of ownership. And throughout the process, we've been saving and accruing money for them. And now they're going and doing their own acquisition. They'll be completing their own renovation. And they're walking into ownership at 18 and 19 years old. Just things that we wish someone would have been able to give or teach us, uh, we're just doing it. And, and you know, it, it doesn't stop there. Any thought um, that God gives us that we would wish that we would have had the opportunity to do or have or receive from someone, we try to give it to our younger brothers, you know? And as long as companies like Revolt and other great companies are continuing to promote this culture of life and not death, that's the way we do it. It can't really be just us, me and Fahim, uh, single-handedly. It's gonna take a whole uh, movement. And that's, thank goodness, that's what's happening.